Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at modeling the Aspire Tower in Doha. Now this is a pretty cool building. It's really tall and it's got this really kind of distinct form. Um, if we bring up one of these pictures you can see it's kind of a cylinder with this curved kind of form in the middle. It kind of gets a little bit smaller or narrower than the kind of waist. Um, and then we've got this kind of slice up the top of the, uh, of the building. So we're going to look at doing that in Revit using some simple massing, which I think is really, really handy. So here we are back in Revit. Um, before we start, if you want to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button and the little bell. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions and suggestions as well, please leave those in the comments below. So we're in Revit and we want to come up to the Massing and Site tab and click In Place Mass. You can accept that and we can give this a name as well. So let's just say tower. Cool, so you can see up here the, the uh, ribbons changed and we're in the massing, uh, the massing environment right now. So the first thing we want to do is come over to floor plans and we'll click level one there and click the circle and then click on this in the center and just kind of drag this out to create the base. So how thick we want the base to be. So let's just say something like 18 meters there. Click that. You can go back to the 3D view and have a quick look at that. So I just hit escape. You can see there it's just kind of a 2D line on the uh, level one point. So we can select this now and you'll get this option up here for create form. You just want to come over to solid form. And it's a little bit tricky here, but you've got two little options here. You don't want to click the sphere. We obviously want to make it a cylinder. So click that, and you've got your first basic cylinder there. Next step is to just drag this out to something that kind of looks right. We're not going to be super precise in this case, but you get the idea. Then, now we want to create that little waste. So to do that, with that selected, or with a, a part of this selected, we can click Add Profile. And then as you hover over that cylinder, you can see it gives you another little circle somewhere where you can place. So I'm going to click and place somewhere about here, which looks roughly in the middle. And with it still selected again, you can see it's currently blue, so still selected, we just click Edit Profile. And now we've got the option to select and change that radius. So instead of 18 meters, let's make it something like 9 meters. Hit Enter. Zoom back out. We're happy with that. Hit the green tick. And you can see Revit there creates a nice smooth kind of cylinder form with a bit of a narrow waist um, to suit our new profile. The next step is to create that slice up the top. So to do that, we want to come to a plan view first and set up our reference plane. So we'll double click level one there and come up to plane. And I'm just going to draw a ref reference plane here on the uh, south elevation. So come here like that. And I'm going to call it, say, south elevation plane, something like that. Um, it's really It doesn't really matter what you name it, but as long as it is named in this case, it will let us uh, do the next step. So we want to come now to the south elevation here and draw a line to represent that slice. So as soon as we click that line you can see it's asking us to select the work plane and that's where we just need to come to name and pick this reference plane, south elevation plane, OK. And if we zoom in here we can actually create a slice. So I'm just going to draw something kind of maybe like that and then just need to enclose this shape something like that will do hit escape let's go back to the 3d view and you can see right now it's just a uh, basically a 2d shape that's kind of sitting outside of our building so with that selected we can come to create form again and go you can directly go to vo void form but i find solid form is a little bit easier to kind of uh, manage and adjust first so you, uh, I'll click solid form and then I can pick this arrow out here and drag it across there because I eventually want this form to cut our, our cylinder, our tower so once we're happy with that we can select this and come over to the properties and you can switch this from a void form to a solid form pretty easily so I'll just click solid, switch that to void click back in here and you can see there it's sliced that pretty nicely Cool, so I'm going to finish that for now. And we're going to just put some quick levels in here and a facade on this. So first thing, the levels. 
We can do that from an elevation again, so let's go to our south elevation in this case. Zoom out, and we can see we've got one level, <coughs> a couple levels down here, and we might actually just copy this all the way up. So if we select this and use the uh, array tool up here, rather than copy, and then click in here and then drag this up to let's say four, and four meters, it's the shooting, and then we can select this little number in here and kind of have a bit of a guess. I'm gonna guess something like 60 floors. See how that goes. Okay, it's a bit high, so we want uh, let's say 48 levels. So change this again. So we like to say 47 it gives us up to level 48. So with that, let's go back to our 3D view now, and the rest we can kind of do in the 3D view, and it'll be a little easier to see. So I might firstly uh, just right-click these levels and go hide in view category, just to get rid of those. Um, and now let's put in some floors. So if we go back to massing in sight, select this, and we can hit uh, mass floors there. And we want to just click the first level, scroll all the way down, hold down shift, and select the last level, tick it on, click OK. Cool, and you can see now we've got our mass pretty much complete. We've got the building envelope or the facade, and we've got floors all the way up to level 48 in this case, um, and they basically match that building facade or the building envelope. So now we can actually apply real geometry tools, so a real curtain wall and real floor. So first let's do the floors, so if we hit the architecture tab, floor, floor by face, and we can actually just do a big window over all that and just hit create floor. So now we've got solid floors in there, and next link we can do the facade, so we can go curtain system, go create system, oh, sorry, select that, select that, and then hit create system, give it a second to update, generate that facade and once that's done you can see there you have it so if we check out this again just to get like rough kind of proportions it's actually not too bad but we can always play around with the uh, with the curtain system family so you can see currently it's 1500 by 3 meters but if we hit edit type you can actually play around with uh, with this grid in here so we might want to make this one let's say 1 meter and this one here, let's say something like uh, 3.5 meters as an example, hit OK. Give that a second to regenerate. There you go. Zoom back out. Looking pretty good. Um, last thing you might want to do is to basically hide the massing. So if you come up to massing and site, click this and go show mass by view settings. You can see that'll hide all the mass off. If it doesn't hide the mass off, it means that your mass category is set to on. So you can just hit VV on the keyboard or come up to view and then visibility graphics. And you just want to come to the model categories tab and scroll down to mass and make sure that's ticked off like that. So click OK. So that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful. If so, hit that like button or leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get notified. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.